Well, it's time to go again, so join me on this adventure as I take a bus from Wexford Town all the way to Dublin, and we get on a budget airline, and I'm going to go into Ryanair to get on to Birmingham. Birmingham City is the second largest city in the UK. It has lots to offer. Uh, we're going to stay at a hostel for four days, and I'm going to show you all this that the city has to offer. Uh, taking on a bunch of things with the back-to-back uh, -back tours. I have the, the Karen's Diner booked to be abused for a couple of uh, hours, so we'll see how that goes on. We, they have all the squares to go and visit. Um, there's Chinatown and there's so, so much more. But right now we're gonna get on the bus, make our way up towards Dublin Airport, and let's see how that makes, uh, how it happens and how I get on from when we arrive in Birmingham to get into the city center. Okay, so we made it to the first part, which is walking to the bus stop. Um, Wexford, we're kind of lucky. We have uh, two different options for buses. We have the Wexford bus, which I prefer. Uh, booked it online already a couple weeks ago. It's 21 euros to the airport. Uh, you also have bus errand that you could take, which is the, uh, the government uh, sponsored uh, bus service. Um, but that's 27.50 to the airport. And I find that the buses are more older. I always find the Wexford bus drivers are, are more pleasant to deal with. So now we'll just wait for the bus. Normally you would be able to get on and look at the scenery, but because it's like 1.30 in the morning, um, it'll be a chance just to uh, take a break, try to get some Z's on the way to the airport. We should be getting into the airport around 4 a.m. and we have to check in at 4.45, so we have a little bit of time to maybe catch something to eat and get a, go to the bathroom or something. So anyways, we'll just wait till the bus gets here. while we go up to Dublin and then uh, we should get there at four o'clock. Okay so we just got off the bus and now we're gonna head over to Terminal 1 and see where we go to head to Birmingham. Okay, so that's through security. That was a breeze. Maybe eight, nine, ten minutes max. It was uh, pretty seamless. So now we're just heading towards the gate, gate 111. Um, and then we'll just get ready to board the plane. about two hours till my flight so I'm inside everything it's a seven minute walk to my uh, gate so I figured I'll come up here and I'll maybe try a little Burger King we'll see so there we go for $9.95 you get a drink a Whopper and some fries so. yep. a couple hours to kill so I might as well get something to eat go to the bathroom let's see what this is like four in the morning. Not the hottest. Chips are okay. The drink I got cherry Coke Zero. Now I'm gonna finish this and we'll get that. So I smashed that burger and the fries and then I went to the bathroom surprisingly enough. The uh, facilities were very clean. For an airport, I was quite quite happy. Not Dubai standards, but that's that's at a different pedestal. But for Dublin, it's uh, not bad. So now we're just walking towards our gate. We're looking for 111. So 
Oh, your man's the first in through the gate, so now we're going to be boarding out the plane. We're supposed to go to the rear of the plane. And my seat. Oh, oh we have to wait. Six A. Uh, oh. oh. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> you don't want to see him. Sorry, just please come back. Uh, just please come back. Oh, please come we're back. Not, we're not ready, guys. Sorry. Oh, oh. he's telling us all. I know. Yeah, <laughs> get down. Don't oh. there, Robin. Sorry, guys. We're not ready. Just please come back. Can't. Are they about to the whole stairs is full. Sorry guys, please move backwards. Move backwards, okay guys? We're not ready for boarding. Please. <laughs> if you want to go home, just come back at the bottom of the stairs. Morning, it's Another few minutes in this, yeah, yeah. In this case. Yeah. As, you, as you saw, the bell was off. You yeah, know? yeah. Okay. He's right. Okay. So we're finally inside. Now let's go out. Come back in because they weren't ready. Miscommunication was freezing standing outside waiting, but anyways, we're in. Now we're gonna put our seatbelts on, and in about an hour and five minutes, we should be arriving in the, the enchanting city of Birmingham. Information specific to this aircraft type. It is essential that cabin signs and instructions given by the crew are followed. We would like to remind you that smoking is not permitted anywhere on board. Your hand baggage must be securely stowed in the overhead locker or under the seat. Thank you. See you. All right. So we've arrived at the uh, Birmingham Airport. Now join me now as we go inside and try to find our orientation to find the bus to get to Birmingham City. There's three buses that we could take. It's the X1, X12, or the 75, and it should cost us about 350. Plus, I'm gonna have to look for the nice big Birmingham sign or something like that to uh, take the old uh, thumbnail. So let's just get on inside there now. It's coming. I just don't know where it's gonna stop. Let's just see. That's one we need to go into. To follow it, maybe. There's no signs. Take a look. Let's see where he goes to. Maybe we'll catch the next one. Okay, so I managed to. The driver was at the, uh, the zebra crossing, so I uh, asked him, Where do I go? And he said, keep going down there. Um, let's see. Trains, hotels, car parks, malls, bus stops. Bus stops, beach, you know. Just keep going. 
Here's the bus. Sorry, does this bring you into town? It does bring you into City X1, uh, X12, and 75. Oh, yeah, would this bring me to Yes, a... it should bring you into the center, city center. Full ring, yeah. Yeah, I think so. This, this one or that one should work. How far does it take you in town? Uh huh? How long is I don't know, it says about 35 minutes. Oh, yeah. That's what Google said, anyways. How much is it for the city? Two pounds. Two pounds? Well, and how much is theirs? Um, how much, how much is want, yours? They, they wanted a group day saver, which is eight pounds, but we don't handle cash, so I don't do change. Oh, well, do you have, have two and uh, I give you seven. Do you have a, you have a pound? Harper, do you look at the pound in the pocket? Yeah, I have one pound. Here, there you go. Here's a fiver. Thank you. And then yeah, two. Okay, I see. There that you I go. Do help. I need a ticket or? Your ticket, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. No butter. No, it's not stick to the stage. There we go. <laughs> That's a, so it was two pounds to get into city center, not bad. So I did my good deed there. They didn't have the money and it only takes exact change. So I had seven quid, it was eight quid for them. So they got sorted. So now we just have about a, it should be about a 35 minute ride. So now we'll just enjoy the uh, bus ride and they, into, uh, into the, the glorious city of Birmingham. Show you the architecture as we drive through, but see uh, the windows are all fogged up. But the uh, bus, I have to say, it's very, very clean. So two pounds is a trip. You can get an all-day fare for four fifty, and a family a group one like the ones with the three kids with the two adults is eight pounds for the group fare. Um, so it's, it's it's reasonable, you know, two pounds to get in. All righty. So, you can see, we just got into the Bull Ring shopping mart. So, this is the iconic building that you see. So, we just got off. We're going to take a walk around. I'm going to get a coffee. I'm going to try to get my, uh, get a, you know, get a Wi Fi open up and then save the places I want to see over the next couple of days. Um, so, it's a little early to be getting into the. Uh, to getting into the hostel which is at two o'clock so what we're going to do is walk around the town um for a few hours get a coffee something to eat see the sights and uh then what we'll end up this uh, video at uh when we get to the hostel and then i'll start the, uh, the second one from showing you inside the hostel and then we'll be looking at the uh the christmas markets like i said join me for next few uh Next few uh, adventures, there's uh, about 13 vlogs I think I have planned up. If all goes as planned, we'll see, we'll play by ear. There's a nice little fruit market there. Maybe we'll take a look at that. So like I said, here's the Bowring Car Park Center. It's a weird shaped yoke, okay? It's really nice. So there's fruit and vegetable up there. We'll walk up here first and we'll see what we see up here. This gives you what's that. Here's all the different shops you have available. Um, okay, 
So that was my good karma for the day there. Like the family of five, all she had was a 20 pound note for an eight euro fare. So I had some loose change, so I used that up in a fiver. So she only had to pay a, a pound note for it. I don't mind it because I had loose change from my last trip when I was in uh, Edinburgh. So really it cost me a fiver to get into uh, into town for myself and them. So it's all good. Look at that big church there. This guy, I don't know if you can see at the top of that uh, lift there. It's, it's a Rudolf Zoom. Vietnamese kitchen. Pizza at Nando's. So there's lots of little restaurants that you can do. And this lovely little Christmas tree. Look at these uh, Disney chairs. You can sit in them, I think. Let's go inside this. See what it looks like. I'm sure it looks a lot different at night time. It's right beside the church in the boring area. Get the legs going because after uh, after a couple of hours in a bus and then a plane and then another bus, time to get going and enjoy the sights. Get a coffee. I see what this church cathedral is. St. Martin's in the Bowring. That's what that one was. That's very nice looking, eh? The door. Very nice. Now, also, the, in, I'll take a look once I get a, the internet and mark off. Supposedly, it has the world's largest Primark, which from the uh, Republic of Ireland point of view is pennies, which a lot of people are obsessed with it. I know Emily is. But, oh, look at this. Look what we have here. So we'll definitely take a look at that. Here's a place that's some munchies there. Hot and spicy sun fried breast of chicken. Mm. I'm not really hungry right now, but I'd like to have a coffee maybe. So they're all, I think they're setting up. Ooh, look at this. You can have uh, all sorts of eggs, cheese. Yeah, they're still setting up. It's still early in the morning. And then fruits and veg. Now, I can always get some fruit and veg for the hostel later on. You know, if I see something that jumps out at me. This all looks very fresh. Four for a pound. That's very good, right? Look at the bananas, they look very, very light. Lychee, $3.99 a pound. No filming, please, no filming. No filming? No filming. All right. Then no buying. Oh well, so there is a market here. I don't know who he is and which shop he owns, or but uh, anyways, you can always come here. It's right beside the St. Martin's uh, in the Boring Church, and then we'll walk up and we'll be looking to get coffee. Maybe he doesn't want filming because he's uh, avoiding taxes. You never know. Without giving you a reason, you can make up your own. There's a sculpture right up here. We'll go take a look at that. And, uh, Barbara Johnson. I know Mary Barbara Johnson. I don't know what this is. During the Second World War, this city suffered 
365 air raid alerts and 77 actual air raids. So two, uh, 2,241 were killed. So these are all the names. The people that passed during the World War II bombings. There's fresh bread there. Just nipped into the Saber store. Picked up myself some shaving, uh, shaving cream, um, some uh, body wash, and one more thing, shaving, body wash, toothpaste. So I got all the large size, not the travel size, so I'll just leave them at the hostel or throw them out. But the whole thing came to three pounds, 49 for him, for a large size of everything. So it's not bad. Now I'll try to find a place to get a coffee and if we see something else that jumps out of us. That looks interesting. These will be open later at night, I'd imagine, part of the uh, Christmas markets, which we'll see later. Starbucks, don't want to go in there. Not a fan of Starbucks. I'd even go to a McDonald's for a coffee. And at least I could use the internet there, I think. Five guys. They make good pizzas, I believe. Wing stop. Look what I found here. The bull ring. It's not like Wexford's. Marketing for Nike, I see. Maybe this could be a thumbnail. So we're getting in the mix of it. Later on, we'll be going to see the Christmas market. That'll be after we find the uh, the hostel later on and do the uh, the tour of the hostel, and then we'll go hit the the Christmas markets. Those are the two main vlogs that we'll get today. So obviously, coming over here, and then also walking around. How to how to get here? It's very simple enough to get into the city, as I've demonstrated. And uh, here we have Primark coming up now. This is the largest in the world, the Primark. I think there's another entrance because I've seen it on the internet. It's like a big oval shape entrance place. Here we go. Here I am outside Primark. Supposedly it's massive. It has one, two, three, four, five floors. You have the ground floor, two down, and then you have two up. I don't really want to go in it, but a few of the girls from work wanted me to show it. I'm sure Emily wants to see what she's missing. So basically, oh, they have a cafe, Tasty Greg's Cafe. I think that's what we'll do. And they have Wi-Fi in the house. There we go, Primark Cafe on the first floor too. And there's a Primark Cafe with Disney on the top floor. So there's lots of choices. But we'll go down to the one on the, the bottom and see what that one is. We'll go one floor down. So we'll go down and see what uh, the cafe's like and we'll get ourselves a coffee. Playing some uh, copywriting music, so I'm just going to quickly show it. Here's the little Greg's van. So we'll head up in here. Greg's is always very decent. So we'll have ourselves a coffee, get on the Wi Fi, and check the bearings. Three pounds, which is not too bad. Two pounds for a sandwich. Three pounds. So decent. And they have meal deals available as well. Sausage rolls. 120, 185 for vegetable bakes, and corned beef bakes, and all that. I'm not really hungry right now, but and there's donuts. Might get a donut. Donut and a coffee can never go wrong. We'll see how much it costs. She was lovely. She was just camera shy, so once I turned it off and that she asked me what I was doing, and I told her, and she wished me luck and all that stuff. She was just. But for um, the glazed donut and uh, black coffee was two pounds fifty. So very reasonable. Now, 
gonna try to log on to the Wi-Fi, um, check out everything, and make a little game plan of what I'm gonna see for the next little bit. So it's uh, about almost half nine, and we don't have till two o'clock till we can go to the hostel. This is what two pounds fifty gets you in Greg's and Brenda. So gonna jump, jump around there. Luckily, like there's a lot of music, so excuse me. There's five floors, you can see. Um, there's a couple of restaurants. Top floor is uh, Disney theme, so. But I think I'll be heading out of here because of the music. But if you're in uh, Birmingham, I want to go to the largest uh, Primark in the world. It's not too far from the bowery. Like a proper store, not just the uh, one in the Primark. So, Gorilla Munch. It's not open right now. It might be opening up a little later, I'd imagine. And then, Jesus saves. And then Burger King. I'm not sure, sure about the facade of the building in front. Looks a little bit run down, but the Burger King itself looks okay. And what else we got here? Up there, there's some nice old buildings in the square. Let's just go up here, see these nice buildings. Having Ireland anymore? Argos. It's still uh, in the UK. They just pulled out of. Uh, Ireland. I think mostly that was to do with Brexit because they couldn't get a lot of the items in. So they cut their losses. Nighttime will look good with all the lights. Union Street and Union Passage. There's a mural on the side of the wall. And this is what draw me to uh, coming up this way. Is the buildings here. Look at the old Redstone. Looks really nice. I don't know if it's been used or not, but really nice. And there's a super drug in the corner with another red brick. Yeah. Union Street. Right across from Poundland, there's a McDonald's up ahead. Here's the tramway. And well, there's some ladies singing and fundraising. They're actually very good, actually. So what I'm gonna do, here's the tram coming now. These are nice old buildings here along the way. Royal Air Force, if you wanna join up. I'm gonna go up here. I'm going to turn it off and see where I am first. So, spoiler alert, that would be Cathedral Square. So we're not going to go up there right now. Because that's going to be part of our tour of the uh, Christmas market. Which will be after 2 o'clock we uh, check into the, uh, the hostel. There's another Greg's right beside McDonald's. And here's an one, Jack's Chicken and Chips. But I'll probably be saving myself. Try not to eat uh, anything else. Unless something really jumps out at me, because I want to save myself for the uh, Christmas market. Try as much of those the tasty treats. Probably overpriced treats, but anyways, we'll see what they have to offer. I know that there's, you know, there's pretzels with cheese, there's uh, all sorts of uh, um, mulled wines and stuff we can try out, but uh, we'll head on down this way. We'll save that other part for later. I was lucky enough, I walked by in this uh, of doors, the same one they have in Belfast, so I have a membership card. So I picked up two pairs of Merino uh, socks for 15 pounds. Um, I was short on one, so they'll be coming in handy. Now is that live music or is that recorded? I think it's recorded, so I'll have to stop this now. This is the back side of the Primark, right there. So it's a quite large building. Um, so now we'll just wait. There's not a car coming, so this guy is he turning or what's he doing? Nope. Let's cross over. 
Birmingham Moore Street. There's the bouldering uh, as well. So that's a train station, it looks like. We don't need to go there, but. There's a better view of the Primark building. Some uh, neat looking taxis, especially the yellow one sticks out. And here's a nice old building. That's the train station. So to get towards where the B&B or the uh, hostel is, we just have to go down this way a bit further. I just want to try to see where it is and then we'll look around the hostel area and see what happens. What's going around there. Here's the old Tilton Rails office. It looks very old. We'll take a look inside here. See. There's a little donut shop. Very cool. There's a bookstore for your magazines. And there's the platforms. So you can go to London from here. It's very interesting. Espresso station. So we'll just keep going back out and we'll head down. Try to find out where the uh, the hostel is. Now it is still too early, but uh, let's see the see where it is anyways. Like I said, remember this old building. So we see this where we first came off this morning from the bus. But this gives you a better view of it. Wow. It's a neat looking building. Here's the other view of the building. And there's the the Martin's Morning uh, Church. And then there's an archway you can go across into it. So I crawled from under the uh, train bridge. There's a entranceway lady helped me. She seen me looking uh, lost. Came up and helped me and she asked me where I was going. So she pointed my right, my right way. And I just came across this mural. Look at this. Very interesting. I don't know, is it dark? Very dark looking. Macabre, I think the word is. Trains? So it's similar to the one I walked in on the other side. Now, there's a big Jameson bottle sign. Looks like a pub up there. The area around here looks a little worn. I don't know. A lot of places don't look like they're they're opening for business or that, but I don't know if it's just because it's early, but it is Saturday, and it is getting up there. It's uh, almost 11, so anything that would be opening on a Saturday would probably open. Now the uh, hostel I'm staying at will be just down there, so I just want to see where it is. Oh, and then I'll look around a little bit more some sights. Archway and then a building it looks like it's seen better use it's all graffitied up as we keep walking down here's the delivery man delivering all stuff and here we got a little reference to the Peaky Blinders coming up I order a Peaky Blinders. Bob Dale End. There's a lot of graffiti here, but it's some artistic work too, so it's not all just graffiti. But that looks pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Exactly. And there's the nice one at the end there, coming up. Here's some more along here. Brewing company. Across over here. Ten 
Changing my battery soon, anyways. <laughs> That's where we stand. So I'm gonna go take a look at this. Start work. Nice to find a bench and I'll change my socks. I think. Get my new socks on. The ones I have on are just not really hiking socks. So my feet are starting to get sore. Wow. That one's nice. Inside somewhere. Change the socks. Oh, here's some more. Yeah, I thought it was finishing there. Let's look at this. Very nice. Different paintings around. 
pretty much a lot of the walls here. Now, obviously, the area I'm staying in is, you know, probably not the safest. There's a whole bunch of e-bikes and scooters you can take. And it keeps going on and on. Here's what we found. Tribute to John F. Kennedy, President of the United States, 1960 to 1963. Goes around the whole corner here. A man may die, nations may rise and fall. And an idea was a a lot of construction going on in this area. A lot of cranes. Look at that one over there. The cranes perched on top, and the building's being built from the bottom up. South Birmingham City College. We we'll walk up this way. This looks a little bit greener. Find a place to sit. Way right across from Birmingham Coach Station, and then we'll head back when it gets closer to the two o'clock. This place is not far from the old uh, hostel. The old hill, the police station, the old building. Looks like it's closed. Very nice though. West Midlands Police. The front door is closed. As you look at the back, there's all the police cars. And that's the real entrance to the police station. I'd say it's pretty busy because when I looked into it, and there would be the bus I would take getting back to the airport but when I was uh, doing some research unfortunately Birmingham is like crime capital of uh, the UK right now so hopefully we have good karma and nothing happens we're just walking back to where we were dropped off you know find a place coffee shop like maybe unfortunately the Starbucks which they will have the uh, the Wi-Fi and sit there and maybe change the old sockies and, uh, and the battery too because my battery's getting low it's at 30 percent and we still have a little bit of filming to do before we get to the the uh, hostel and then I'll switch around the uh, the memory stick for the uh, the second vlog coming up. I think we go up here. Okay, I've made it to my hostel. So now I'm going to, uh, you can see it right up there, Birmingham Central Backpackers. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a much needed break. I've been traveling since uh, 1.30 yesterday, or this morning actually. We walked around the town. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the travel log of uh, going from Wexford Town to Birmingham and a little bit around. There's a lot scheduled and uh, uh, even today we're going to be doing a lot more. So I'll be ending this vlog as we get into the uh, the hostel here, right there. And what I'm going to do is take a break and then I'm going to, the next vlog will be showing you around where we're going to be staying for the next three nights. And then we're going to head off to do the uh, Christmas markets. So I hope you have enjoyed it and there's lots more to happen. But right now I'm signing off.